What's going on, everybody? Thank you all for tuning in. Well, here we go. We're still at the island. But as, as you can see, we're at 169 pearls. That means we need one more. After one more, I can trade in these two golden tenches. And I can buy all the pearls. Well, the pearl poles, excuse me. That has been a long journey. The fish sack, to say the least, took forever. But we've made it. It's gotten me from 35 to 85 hunter. We're at 84, but we're almost 85. We're not going to leave until we are. No matter how long it takes for this last pearl. With that being said, it's been a long journey. It's been a fun journey. And I'm glad it's over. Now I can go on to bigger and better things. I, for the most part, have gotten everything I can think of when it comes to fishing. The only thing I really don't think I have is the big bass, which as soon as we leave this island, that's what we're going to do. Probably make a little pit stop by the Grand Exchange and then head to the fishing guild so that I can finish this 99, get that big bass, and I'm pretty positive that'll be all the fishing stuff that I need, all the collectibles anyway. With that being said, I'm going to slap on the fast forward here, get this rolling. Once we got that last pearl, I'll be right back. There we have it. Finally, I could have put my guy in fast forward the whole time. We would have been done a lot sooner. 170 pearls. After getting that thousand, it doesn't really seem like it took me long at all. There we have it. There's the stats. It's not too bad. I still need 3,000 to get to 85. But we'll do that in a minute. For now, let's trade these off. I was wondering, would you guys trade these off? I'm going to do it just because I've been doing this for, this is like over a thousand pearls for me. I've already traded in one of them. I've gotten four altogether. That means that I've gotten 300 pearls by trading in three golden tenches. I've read a lot of forums where people have literally gotten like 900 pearls before they've gotten a golden tench, and that's so crazy to me. I know I wore a ring of wealth. I don't know if that helped. Maybe that's just my superstition. I feel like it helped. I've gotten four of them. Like I said, that seems to be a lot more than what most people that I've looked up have gotten. With that being said, you can only wield one, so why keep all four? I'm trading them bad boys in, and I'm getting off this island. There we have it, 370. The exact amount to get the poles. I don't understand why... I seem to have gotten so much more than some people. One of my buddies on here, I've asked him, and he said that he's on about 800 pearls. See what you guys had to think about that. If you guys seem to have gotten a lot more than other people or not, in terms of golden tenches, the pearls seem to come at about the same relative pace. It looks like it's about 20 per hour, give or take. Sometimes I feel like I'd go dry. Sometimes I feel like it'd give them to me back to back. The golden tenches, on the other hand, were pretty sporadic. One of them I got about 10K in. One that took me a little over 20K. One that took me about 17K. And one of them, the fastest one I got, took me 3,000 from the last one I'd gotten. So that was the fastest drop. I know the drop's usually at 20K. So for a 3,000 drop, I was pretty pumped about that. With that said, I'm probably about due for another one. But I'm so ready to get off this island. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to fish a little bit longer just to get this 85th hunting level. After that, we're heading to the Grand Exchange, so stay tuned, guys. I'll be right back. Well, with the victory music, it's only right that we do a couple victory sprints. I'm sure this guy's probably wondering what the heck my problem is. Little does he know, I just did about a 1300 pearl grind, and I am ready to go to the Grand Exchange. 
Finally, here we are. Let's see what we look like with the polls. Oh, man. What a shame. I will probably never use any of these. But, it's nice to say I have them. There we go. I think that's probably my favorite one. The fly rod. It's got the little fly on the end of it. I actually fish a lot in real life. And I like to use fly rods. So, that's kind of extra cool. It is nice to know if I ever do want to use it. Save space. With me having the barrel on my back, saves me even more space. So that's pretty cool. All these collectibles, they can come in handy. More than just the flex. Let's see here. There's my tench. There's my tiny tempor. See which one looks best. I personally like the fishing pet more than I like the Tempro's pet. But there we go. I like that tinge. It's pretty neat. Definitely different. You get so used to seeing people holding weapons and everything, it's pretty funny to see somebody holding a giant fish. Yeah, see, Tiny Tempo, he's just, he's not really my style. Definitely more of the fishing pet. Just glad we got them all. After this, we will be heading to the fishing guild shortly to get that giant bass. That way I can work on these collection logs. Let's take a look at the old tackle box real quick. There we go. It's chalked full. See this log right here? We got everything for the aerial fishing. That's not bad. We got everything except for the D harpoon for Tempros. Pretty good. Fishing trawler's done. Not too bad. And the miscellaneous. Looks like for the fishing, just need that big bass. Side note, looks like most of them fishing chunks sold, which pretty much shocked me. I didn't expect that. But I, hey, I made a little over a mil doing that. I didn't think I'd make anything doing it. So what do you know? It's kind of profitable. In the meantime, guys, I'll be here catching bass, trying to get this 99. I'll keep you up to date. We will be trying to get that cooking cape to not be trimmed. So, stay tuned. Check out my next vid. Thanks, guys.